Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Alright, so let's take a look at the 2015 um, America's Most uh, Charming Cities, okay? The, the 20 Most Charming Cities in America. So this is something different, uh, you know, than, than the usual dinar and, and uh, you know, currency stuff and everything like that. It's Eyes Open Media, so we can talk about other things like Hollywood and, and America's 20 Most Charming Cities, okay? Now, the first one is the... the, the Number twenty is kind of interesting because I don't think they. Uh, th I guess this will, must have been before the riots happened. <laughs> so, um, so this one is Baltimore. That that's actually surprising. Um, but actually, if you actually been to Baltimore and you went down to uh, the county side of Baltimore, it's very nice, especially Townsend. Uh, the picture I'm looking at right now is probably Townsend, uh, somewhere around there. So Townsend, Maryland. Uh, mm, what else? is good in Baltimore. <laughs> this, 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 the county, okay? This Baltimore County is a lot better. Um, it's a lot nicer than, of course, the city area, which had the riots, okay? So that was number 20. And let's go to number 19. So number 19 is Pittsburgh, okay? So Pittsburgh, it's probably, they're probably talking about where the bridge is at and where the stadium is at. It's probably the probably the nice places over there. Um, so yeah, Pittsburgh, okay? So let's see. Number 18 is Seattle. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, anybody from Seattle? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know much about Seattle. So, I mean, I can't really speak on it, so I don't. I haven't been there. Okay, so I need to. I need to go there. You know what I mean? Um, I need to go to Seattle. I know. This, I know it's like it's. It's basically like England. It's like London. It's like Europe. I'm mean, not. Well, most of Europe, half of Europe, because half of Europe is always gloomy and dark and rainy. Okay, so that it's basically like that. Okay, in Seattle. Uh, sleepless in Seattle. And didn't that come out like 93 or something? Goodness gracious. All right, so Cleveland is number 17. That's surprising, okay? I don't know much about Cleveland either, um, so let's move on. Number 16 is Atlanta, okay? Um, Atlanta is a spot for clubs and, and all types of craziness. Uh, it's a home of strippers, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm surprised this is on here, you know what I mean? But they do have some nice country areas and, and, and royal areas with nice, beautiful homes in Atlanta, especially Buckhead, Atlanta. Again, I think that's what they're talking about here, Buckhead, Atlanta, which is very rich. Uh, Philadelphia, wow, Philadelphia. Uh, now, Philadelphia has a lot of uh, capital buildings and, and government federal buildings and a lot of historic meanings to it, downtown Philadelphia. So, okay, I, I understand that. Uh, Albuquerque is number uh, 14, New Mexico City. I have nothing, I don't know anything about Albuquerque. Albuquerque I, I don't even know how to say it anymore. <laughs> I said it once, fine, and after that, I can't even say it anymore, okay, so I'm not going to say it again, uh, I'm just going to say that I need to visit New Mexico, I want to visit every state in America, ain't that kind of weird that most Americans ha have not even visited 10 states in America, yeah, we stay in our own little bubble, um, I, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm trying to figure out how many states I have actually visited, it's not a lot, uh, okay, I visited Florida, I visited D.C., I visited Virginia, I visited Maryland, I visited Delaware, I visited New Jersey, I, vi I um, visited um, New York, I visited um, Philadelphia, did I say Philadelphia already? Philadelphia, no, hold up, yeah, Philadelphia, um, no, Pennsylvania, I'm sorry, <laughs> Pennsylvania is the state, uh, I visited Pennsylvania, I visited Chicago, I visited California, um, and I visited, is that it? The, yeah, that's it, um, nine states, so I, I haven't even hit, I haven't even hit the, um, the 10 state mark, so, so most People that live in America haven't even visited ten states in their whole entire life. That's kind of that's kind of that's not cool at all, man. You know, when you live life and you live in a country, you should take the time out and and visit every country that is in 
America. I mean, every state that is in America. I mean, I, I find it weird that we don't get out there and visit uh, all the states that are in our country. I mean, that is weird. Um, if you if I, if we ask somebody in Europe about that, they would they would look at us like we're weird because people in Europe visit all the countries in Europe all the time. Okay, there's trains that take them all over the, every country, and so it's just a random thing they do. They can go from Germany to to uh, to France to to London to to Belgium everywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's just to Spain. I mean, it's crazy. Um, so, anyways, let's continue here. Uh, number 13 is Nashville, Tennessee, all right, so it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, state, um, Tennessee, um, and Nashville too, especially like in the, in the royal um, suburban areas, okay, uh, Houston, Texas, Houston is rising on everybody's uh, uh, radar, I guess you want to call it, um, Houston is definitely rising, there's a lot of good spots in Houston now. Uh, they're trying to remove the. Uh, they're trying to like push the ghetto out of Houston and build it up uh, into something really nice, especially around the stadium, the Houston Texans stadium, I guess. Uh, San Francisco, of course, is beautiful. I've been to San Francisco. The the Golden State Bridge and all the things in San Francisco. The hills that go all the way, the, the very steep hills. <laughs> they your car seems like it's about to go back the other way. Um, though that's kind of frightening. And li- and and seeing houses on the steep hill. That's not, uh, you're like, okay, <laughs> but it's beautiful though. San Francisco is beautiful. Um, New York City, of course, New York, but not this, n- not really the city, but more the metro- uh, metropolitan areas, okay? The outs- you know, the outskirts of it, you know what I mean? That way you can uh, look at the buildings and things like that and sit on the grass at the parks, okay? Um, let's see here. Central Park, of course, is beautiful. Uh, Kansas City. I I don't know much about Kansas City, Missouri, uh, but, um, they're saying it's nice, so that's number nine. Number eight, Chicago. Okay, um, I don't know who did this. (laughs) Well, Chicago's beautiful, man. I used to be, I used to live in Chicago. So, Chicago is beautiful. Downtown Chicago is very luxurious. Uh, it's it's like New York, kind of like. Um, there's like, uh, there's like, uh, fancy, um, clothing stores and all types of stuff. And it's like a, it's like a New York, like one, like the, downtown Chicago is like New York, okay? Um, but then after that, you got, you know, the areas where everybody's dying and getting killed. <laughs> uh, but the but the, the downtown luxurious parts where the Maseratis are at, the, the, the Phantoms, uh, the Rolls Royces, and all that stuff, that downtown luxury area is really, really beautiful. All right, number seven is Boston, Massachusetts, okay? Um, don't know much about Boston except for... Um, <laughs> Of, uh, not even gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. But of course, uh, the Patriots uh, um, are in Massachusetts, and uh, the Celtics, and um, what else? Uh, not really. I don't really know. I know there's a lot of historical buildings in, uh, as well in Boston. So let's move on. Portland, Oregon comes in at number six. I, I always think of Portland of like some type of hippie town, like uh, a lot of hippies and uh, Mormons. I don't know why, but that's just how I f- feel. There's definitely no black people there, I, unless you're playing sports. Uh, you're not going to see a black person for a mile. So, you know, it's more of a, of a um, maybe... Um, it's, I'm not even saying that there's a lot of white people either. I think... The, um, there's a lot of Indians, maybe, maybe Indians and uh, Mexicans there and different cultures in Portland, Oregon. Uh, they, and of course, there's, a, there's a Caucasians there, but I'm just saying that I think there's a lot of more uh, multicultural people that live in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so that's why they probably put it at number six. Number five is Washington, D.C. Um, of course, uh, the downtown uh, D.C. Uh, in in the Georgetown areas, in the muse- in the uh, monuments and museums are really really nice, um, especially in the springtime. All right, number four is Minneapolis, St. Paul's. I've never been to Minneapolis. Uh, I need to go. I need to visit St. Paul. 
apparently. Uh, <laughs> the Twin City ranks number one uh, for their parks and gardens. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so I need to go to, um, I need to, uh, once we get our fi funding and our finances, I need to take my family to, uh, uh, and my friends to Minnesota St. Paul. So I got to remember this and mark it down um, and look at the waterfalls and things like that and go hiking. Um, let's see. Number three, Providence, um, uh, Providence. Uh, what is Providence? Providence, Rhode Island. I think that's what they're talking about. I don't, yeah. Okay. So Providence, Rhode Island. I heard Rhode Island is very, very rich and pretty. I just never hear anything from Rhode Island. It's one of the States in America you hear nothing from. Um, it's unbelievable. I have never heard anything come out of Rhode Island at all. It's like South Dakota, North Dakota. You never hear a single peep out of them. Uh, you always hear from Florida. You always hear from DC. You always hear from Maryland. You always hear from New York. You always hear from Cali and Texas and Arizona and, and, and Washington state. And you always hear from, uh, everything else in between. Uh, but you never hear from Rhode Island or Providence or South Dakota or North Dakota. I wonder why. Uh, maybe just because there's not that many people living there. Okay, number two is New Orleans. Wow. After Katrina, they built, they, they tried to rebuild, the, especially the rich area they rebuilt back uh, for Bourbon Street and things like that. So they got that number two. And number one is Charleston. Okay, is that South Carolina or something else? I don't know. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, yep, South Carolina. So Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, I know South Carolina in that area, Charleston in that suburban area, that that rich area uh in in um Charleston, uh, especially where the um South Carolina Gamecocks play football and the in the um what do you call it? The, the um, college university campus area. That whole area has been rebuilt. It's beautiful um, and luxurious like crazy. And a lot, you know, it's it's really really nice in uh, South Carolina. I haven't never visited, but damn, but well, when I see those pictures on ESPN and, and and they're showing around the campus area and the downtown areas, and the people are visiting the town for for uh, you know how they go and they eat food in the towns while they're there for the week before game day and stuff like that uh man it's beautiful down there in south carolina charleston south carolina so i can't imagine uh why they it wouldn't be number one so um and uh they got a lot of legacy and history down there as well so it is what it is so that is your uh top 20 um well most uh what is it most uh charming cities uh, for 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, something different than, you know, the dinar and the dong and, <laughs> and, uh, the Hollywood stuff. We just talking about America and we got to, and we live in America. So we love our country and, uh, we want to see the most charming cities and, and, uh, hopefully when we get our fundings and, and, uh, and our project fundings, we can visit, uh, these cities and states and, uh, and, 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 uh, look, at American culture at a different way because we're actually going to go to those lands and see it for ourselves instead of reading books, okay? Uh, and, and and then we can travel abroad as well and, and look at history abroad. So that's it. Eyes Open Media, you guys have a great night. I am out. Um, Frank, I think, is going to be speaking tonight at some more intel if you guys want to listen to Frank tonight. Um, I think Dr. Garland will be talking first. Then Frank will have some dessert afterwards. I will if if he does have dessert, which I believe he will, since the since the coins did come out. Um, I will post it on the main channel. Okay, uh, probably after twelve a.m. If I'm still up. If not, it'll be up in the morning. All right. So currency three sixty five powered by Eyes Open Media. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing to the Eyes Open Media and Currency 365 channel. And thank you for fan funding uh, to support this channel and also Currency 365. Now, I'm going to have the fan funding button for this channel done tonight. Okay, it will be on there tonight. And I want to thank everybody that has sent funding uh, today and yesterday or whenever you did send it uh, through the Currency 365 main channel. All right, thank you guys so much. I don't care if you send $1. I don't care if you 
you send five dollars i don't care you send twenty five dollars i pray that jesus christ blesses you a hundred thousand times every time you send to me okay to support his prophet thank you so much all right so uh, i'm out god bless shalom